Trust Once Lost. Chapter 39, Part 2. Diamond Tiara's day had gone from bad to worse. On returning home from her dreadful day at school, she still had her mother to contend with. I am so disappointed, Diamond, said Spoiled Rich. I gave you clear instructions on how to win back the class presidency from the common runt, and it's still too difficult for you. I thought I raised you better than this. It's not my fault, Mother, Diamond Tiara said. That new cream filly was telling him what to say. Oh, the blank flank basket case the apples dragged in off the street. Spoil asked. You could not smart a common waif. She knew exactly what Pip should say to get every pony on his side, said Diamond. I've done everything you told me to do, and all I've done is make every pony hate me. Excuses will get you nowhere, dear, said Spoiled. You're better than those common ponies, and you must show it. If you make friends with those beneath you, they will only be there to take advantage of your wealth and status. <sighs> Maybe I don't care about any of that stuff, Diamond yelled. Maybe I just want ponies to like me for me for once! As safe as I had felt to retreat to my room for the past week, now it felt... confining. They were always asking me to get out more anyway. They could hardly complain if I went out for a walk. Winona followed me to the edge of the farm, where she stopped and looked at me expectantly. I guess she was waiting to see if I would tell her to follow. I gave her a pet on the head for being such a good dog, and then I kept walking. The fact that I hadn't taken the time to explore Ponyville before was a missed opportunity. The air was cool and fresh. I had nowhere to be, and no pony with me to worry about, so I could amble at a comfortable pace. There were ponies walking about, but none of them bothered me. I decided I'd walk at least to the town hall before I turned back. I made it as far as the river when I heard some pony cry out in pain, and I looked over to see a pink filly crying. Diamond Tiara. I felt a moment of anxiety, but it was quickly overwhelmed with pity. Her tears were real, probably. I was at least 90% sure her distress was genuine. As I approached, her eyes locked on me, and I felt another wave of unease, which caused me to shrink down slightly. Are you okay, Diamond? I asked. <laughs> Have you come to laugh at me too? She demanded. Is that how she saw me? I guess I had never shown her any kindness. I sighed. I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? Diamond cocked her head. I thought about it for a moment. I'm sorry if I've made you uncomfortable by coming over here. I said. I heard you call out in pain, and I wanted to see if you were alright. If you are alright, then I can leave. I... I kicked that stone wall over there. She explained. And I think I hurt my hoof. It turns out I wasn't as strong as a stone. I looked at her hoof, but I couldn't see anything obvious. Can I see? I asked. Diamond raised her hoof up and I gently grasped it between my four hooves. She didn't wince in pain, so I flexed it a little. Does this hurt? I asked. No. I poked at the bottom of her hoof, and she winced a little. That hurts? Yeah. I don't think you've sprained it, but you may have bruised the frog. I explained. If it starts to get worse, or if it's still bothering you tomorrow, you should get it checked out, though. You're good at this. Said Diamond. For a blank flank, I mean. Really? I said. You're still on that whole blank flank thing? I just mean it since you don't have any talent. Uh, when you say things, do you think about how it will affect the pony you're talking to? I asked. What? When you give praise that simultaneously attacks a pony's self-esteem? I explained. It makes ponies feel worse than if you'd said nothing. It's a tactic that manipulators use to undermine and control. My mother said I should always remind ponies of their place when I grant them a compliment. Said Diamond. Otherwise, they might start to think they were better than me. <sighs> of course she did. I sighed. Did you mean what you said yesterday? About turning over a new leaf? I want ponies to actually like me. 
and not just be nice to me because they want something from me. She said. Even Silverspoon won't talk to me anymore. I felt bad at the idea of a pony being excluded, even if it was Diamond Tiara. Especially since I knew she could be a better pony. At least if I hadn't screwed everything up. Green, your horn! Diamond exclaimed. I looked up, and sure enough, my horn was starting to glow with a lime green aura. The look of worry was replaced by one of realization, as Tiara opened her mouth and began to sing. I hadn't heard the song before, but it was probably the one from the episode, right? Words came to my mouth unbidden, and I sang my part of the duet. When we got to the chorus, we both sang in harmony. However, as we were just finishing up the song, Spoiled Rich had found us. Tiara, what have I told you about associating with those blank flanks? I expected to see diamonds cowering from her overbearing mother, but instead, I saw steel in her eyes. Don't call her a blank flank, said Diamond. She's my friend. I felt like ice water had been dumped over my back. No, that... she can't just do that. I, I, I can't be friends with her. What have I told you about being mindful of the company you keep? Said Spoiled. This common waif will do nothing but drag you down. Oh yeah? Said Diamond. Well, when I was down, she came to help me, even after I was mean to her. Well, so much for all the preparation I'd planned for taking down Spoiled. We were both here now, and after using so much magic on that song, I was too tired to worry over the consequences of my actions. I hope she did hit me. Our musical number had drawn a crowd, and they would witness what a monster she was. All I had to do was provoke her, and she had left a perfect opening. Diamond has the potential to be a great pony. The pony that's dragging her down... I pointed a hoof at Spoiled. Is you! So, uh, when I split this into two parts, I didn't think there would be singing in it, and I, uh, yeah, this was a lot shorter than I expected it to be. Uh, my bad. <laughs> Anywho, let's get on to our enchanting donators. Top donators, Jesse Smith, Star 630, Badass Waffle, only one thing, Zero Ryan, and Galadus. Match Vic, Chucky, F, Lucia, Dark Side, Raiden, Norris, Black, Mara, Pastel, Sky, Sals, and Rollins, Robert, The Mordron, Umbrican, Lyric, Root Scythe, Will, Chris, Twinky, Rye, Soul, Shadowman, Luigi, Chancellor, Crust, Fake Smoke, Bobcat, Murder Princess, Jet, Little Mighty, and many more awesome people. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and love life to the fullest.